Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome WCN's president and co-founder, Charlie Knowles. Welcome, welcome. It's great to see you all here. I'm guessing a lot of people are downstairs for pangolins, which isn't a bad choice, but you made the better choice. So <laughs> thanks for being here on a spectacular sunny day in San Francisco. We know you had other choices. You could have go to, gone to Brews on the Bay. We also have the NorCal Horseshoe Championship in Golden Gate Park. <laughs> and my favorite, CorgiCon 2018 <laughs> on Ocean Beach. So you chose well. So thank you for being here. Uh, we got a fantastic day for you. I know you're going to love it. Uh, I want to start off by thanking our sponsors. So the Disney Conservation Fund, the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, the Leiden Foundation, Endangered Species Chocolate, the, our sponsor who also keeps us well fed at the office, uh, the Houston Zoo, Sacramento Zoo, San Diego Zoo Global, and Safari West. So please give them a round of applause for supporting us. And I also want to give a special shout out to the WCN staff and our 100 volunteers that we have working today. They've been working year round to make today happen. So I always like to start off with a little survey. So for how many of you, is this your first WCN Expo? Where have you been? We've been doing this for 18 years. So we're always trying to figure out how we find you. Uh, so how many of you found us on social media? How many of you found us through a friend? There we It's friends. Absolutely. How, how about something in the mail? I hope not. Oh, good. Um, great. Well, we're glad to have you here. It's going to be a fantastic day. Uh, a couple logistical items to, to run through. You may have heard the cowbell. We're going to ring that five minutes before every talk. Uh, for those of you who parked over here in the parking area, we have a special incentive for you to stay late. If you stay till 4.30, it's free. Um, some of you may have been in the 2016 Expo debacle when... <laughs> how many of you were, lo were locked in the parking garage that day? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Um, stuff happens. Um, our good friends at Mission Bay uh, don't allow us to bring food on site, so we have to buy lunches from them. They charge us $34 for every lunch. We think it's ridiculous to charge you for that, so we literally eat your lunch and charge you $15. Um, I think we're just about sold out, so if we are, there's now a lot of great food options in the area. There's um, some of the famous San Francisco food trucks close by and a couple other restaurants, and we can show you how to get there. And... I think that's all the really important announcements I had to make. Um, the WCN Expo, this is the 17th Expo that we have held. And um, it's always the second Saturday in October. And next every other year, Jane Goodall joins us, so she'll be here next year. So please come back next year. And this will be really easy to remember. So it's October 12th next year. And then in 2020, it's 10 10 20. So if you can remember that. Um, so we hold the expos, and we also hold one down in uh, Redwood City on uh, April 13th. So that would be a great thing to come to. And when you're here, in addition to hearing the great conservationists, make sure you go outside and see some of the 60 other organizations that we have represented there. At WCN, we believe in creating a big tent, and we know you're smart people, and we want you to be exposed to the whole world of wildlife conservation. So if you come here, go out there, find an organization you love and support, that is a win for conservation, so please do that. There's great organizations like Bonobo Conservation International, Mountain Lion Foundation, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, fantastic, fantastic organizations, so please do that. Uh, I know I'm preaching to the converted here in terms of the challenges that we face with wildlife. Uh, during my lifetime, we've lost half the wildlife on our planet. That's horrible. In the last, I'm choking up, in the last 25 years, we've lost half the lions, and the pangolins, the exhibit, the uh, presentation downstairs, since 2000, over a million pangolins have been poached for their scales, landing all eight species on the endangered species list. And so it's a big challenge that we, we have. And I have some reasons for hope, fortunately. Uh, my first reason for hope is the incredible conservationists that many of whom you'll meet today and people from local communities who are living and working on the front line, who are dedicated to saving these species. And my other reason for hope is all of you, people that get involved. In the United States, there was $400 billion given philanthropically last year. Of that, 2.2% went to anything involving animals or conservation. 
Of that, only 3 to 5% went internationally. So we're talking about one-tenth of 1% one of all philanthropy going to international conservation work. So the fact that you care to come here rather than CorgiCon 2018 gives me hope. So thank you for that. There's all different ways you can get involved. You can volunteer with WCN. You can, uh, I've had people come to the expo here who've come years later and said, Charlie, I came to the expo, I got inspired. I now live in Kenya. I'm doing lion conservation work. So you can do that too. Um, and of course, you can donate. Uh, $250, $1,000 goes incredibly far internationally, and no gift is too small, and no gift is too big either, I'm just saying. Um, you also might think about, uh, think about wildlife conservation in your estate plans. Uh, a, a very dear friend who came to every expo, you probably passed her at some point, Frankie Steffens, uh, would give $100, $250. I'm gonna choke up again. <laughs> she uh, passed away last year and left us a million dollars in her estate, so. So I've got WCN in my estate plans. I may choke on one of the Mission Bay sandwiches and die today, but at least I'll be saving wildlife, so. Um, so just a couple words about WCN. We were founded in 2002 right here in the Bay Area. We're based in uh, Portero Hill, uh, corner of Mariposa. There we go. Come on over and volunteer on the corner of Mariposa and Mississippi. Um, we have a staff of 20 that works really, really hard and uh, it becomes, becomes really impactful. And our whole idea is that we can only do so much from an office in Potrero Hill. The real work is being done on the front lines and in the field. And so if we can identify these incredible people doing this important work and give them not only the financial resources they need, but the other tools they need to run effective organizations like from accounting to strategic planning to marketing, whatever we can do to help them is going to help conservation. So that's, that's our whole model. And we set it up so that when you make a donation to something, 100% of your money goes directly on the ground to have impact on that program. And it's been incredibly uh, impactful and motivational. Uh, Charity Navigator rates over 8,000 organizations on transparency and efficiency. And we're the first organization that they granted a perfect 100 score to. So very proud of that. And uh, recently, we, you'll hear some things about the Elephant Crisis Fund and the Lion Recovery Fund. We realize that it's incredibly important to support individual conservationists, but there's also an opportunity to look across a whole range and develop a fund where 100% of the money goes to the field and we pick the most strategic and impactful places to support. So you'll, you'll hear about that. So thank you all for being here. You're my reasons for hope. And uh, it's going to be a fantastic day.